Welcome back. We're here looking at the energy market. This is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, December 16, 2022. If you want to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our new, newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So let's go and look at the, the energy market, and we'll start by looking at the WTI oil. And today was, uh, well, a fairly uh, mixed day. We ended down more than 1%, but we were down uh, roughly 2% at one point. 20 simple moving average is offering resistant at this point, and so will the 200 and the 50 if we get to that point. So world economy will most likely end in recession in 2023. It's around, my, the estimate is roughly 75% that we will see a recession in 2023 as monetary policy will continue to uh, um, to tighten so it is only only started and uh, therefore prices will mostly drop as demand for energy will drop so we have this trend line here that we tested only a few uh, weeks ago and uh, we haven't gotten close to that ever since so so give or take roughly at 80 uh, 82 uh, two dollars is probably where we'll find massive support if we were to break to the upside 200 moving average, 50 moving average are also in this area, but the 20 is where we are uh, finding problems at this point. We have tested it once here, and now it looks like we are heading back to the downside. Sorry, I need to write that again. So back to the one more, one more time. Back to the downside. Welcome back. We are here looking at the energy market. This is going to be my daily forecast uh, for Thursday, December 16, 2022. If you'd like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at WTI oil. And as you can see, we are down more than 1% today. And it's the 27 moving average that is... Uh, uh, making problems for this market when it tries to rally. So 200 moving average has offered resi uh, resistant. The upper trend line is definitely resistant. And so is the 20 simple moving average, which is the problem at this point. So going forward, it looks like we are going to go um, even lower. If we break below 70, then we'll most likely drop to, to uh, roughly the lows here of uh, uh, 68, which is kind of where... I think it was Morgan Stanley had its estimate. It was roughly 60, uh, 60, 64 uh, dollars a barrel and uh, at, by the end of this year. And that looks like it is going to hold as uh, as the trend is at this point. If we look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is a bullish in negative territory. Stochastic is crossing the signal line, indicating bearish momentum. And so is the RSI. Most rallies that will occur here, like we saw here, three day rally, will mostly get sold into same here four day rally sold into and so on getting close to the, the trend line will mostly yeah, have a lot of selling uh, um, uh, have a lot of selling uh, afterwards and so will the 250 moving average downward uh, the channel at this point is a negative one and therefore we will most likely see uh, lower prices going forward to, into 2023. So let's look at natural gas. This has been absolutely a roller coaster for most of 2022 and especially for December. You just see uh, these massive counts, like reds and greens and so on. This market doesn't really know where to go, whether or not to break down or to rally. Uh, recently, we have been trading big around, around this area here. The lows are roughly 4.7 and the highs of give or take is 7.6. At this point, we're trading at 6.8. So we're kind of in the middle of things. If we break above here, then we are mostly going to go significantly higher and breaking below here, we are going to go significantly lower. Given the fact that um, that this time of year where temperatures uh, start to decrease significantly and demand um, usually ticks up 
we may see this market continue. It's usually a seasonal market. You can look at the December, October and so on. You'll have these spikes here and, and so on. And the same, it's the same for every year. The question is whether or not we'll just continue back forward or we'll see one of these spikes in the next few months. If we look at technical ind indicators, we can see the MACD is bullish, the CASIC is bullish and the RSI is bullish as well. So I hope you found this helpful. You always support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, bell button to see our newest videos and please do your own due, due, due diligence before trading in the market. Good luck and thank you very much.